Good morning, afternoon, or evening, boys and girls. It's Mrs. Gannon again, and I'm here to introduce you a little bit to place value, which will be our second unit of math. Today, we're going to take a closer look at why numbers are important and why each one has a separate value and what that means to us. The first vocabulary word we're going to talk about and learn today is word form. Word form is a way that you write um, the number using words. So I'm going to show you an example. If we had 136 in word form, it would be 100. Thirty six. And there is no and sign. The only time we would say and, or not and sign, and word, the only time we would say and is if we had a decimal. So if we had something like $136 and 50 cents, the and would stand for the decimal. The second word we're going to look at is standard form. Standard form is a number that's written only in numbers, so it should be easy. Let me show you an example of that. Let's say our number is 73. In standard form, it would just be the number 7 followed by the 3. The next word we're talking about, um, a vocabulary word, is expanded form. Expanded form is a number that's written out in place value. So let's say we have 1,654. That's written out in standard form because standard form, remember, is written only in numbers. Expanded form, we write it out in place value. So let me show you how that would look. 1,000 plus 600 plus 50 plus 4. So just like that would be expanded form. Another thing that I taught my students also is you could write it out right on top of each other, and it kind of helps you see that your place value is lining up. 1,654. So my 4 is in my 1's place and it lines up. My 5 is in the 10's place and 5 10's is 50. My 6 is in the 100's place which is 600 and my 1 is in my 1,000's place so it stands for 1,000. These three forms are going to be our focus. So on the sheet of paper you have in front of you, which I gave you during class, you will need to write the words or, or the numbers um, to show word form, standard form, or expanded form for the numbers and problems that are on your worksheets. Remember, if you have any questions, you can review this uh, video as many times as you like. You can also go online and go to Khan Academy, and I haven't shared that with you, but some of you may already know about it. So Khan Academy, and I just spelled that wrong, khanacademy.org, and it's a great resource for all kinds of videos to help you in math and other areas. Um, so again, if you have any questions, review it. You can ask me tomorrow, or go on khanacademy.org, or just ask your parents. All right, I'll see you guys in class. Your password is going to be, hmm, let me think about it. Your password is going to be to take a selfie or draw a selfie. It's up to you. Um, in a place where you could use place value to help you out. So think about that. Where could we use place value in the real world to help you out? All right, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Have a good night. Bye.